Hey guys, so I recently picked up this Neptune ASM module and I've been trying out various sensors with it. This is the module that comes with the PAR meter or PMK, uh, but you can purchase these separately if you contact Neptune directly. They're about a hundred bucks. And in my opinion, this is probably the most underused Neptune product. Basically, any sensor you can think of can be adapted to be integrated with an Apex. Now, why Neptune decided that a PAR sensor was the most needed sensor is beyond me. If you're changing your lighting so frequently that you need a permanent PAR meter, you need to stop and reevaluate how you reef. And the sensors aren't great for long-term PAR monitoring either uh, because they get biological growth on them and slight movements of the sensor are going to cause far greater changes in PAR than any small changes in your light output. And the delay of apex fusion means that you have to use apex local and hit refresh or an apex screen so they're not really even that effective while setting up your lights because it's kind of a pain to use. But I digress. While there are many uses for the ASM module, perhaps the most relevant is the humidity sensor which is what I've got here. Maybe you want to control an exhaust fan in a stand or a fish room or simply want to make sure that your dehumidifier is uh, working during the hot, humid summer months. While there are far cheaper humidity control and sensor options, none of them are going to be able to have the remote monitoring and easy viewing of being integrated with your Apex. So to build this, we're going to need an ASM module. Uh, these accept a 0 to 1 volt or 0 to 5 volt input a 24 volt power supply, any generic 24 volt DC power supply is going to work. However, if you have an EB832 with a spare 24 volt accessory port, then the 24 volt cable is a nice clean option. Uh, you're also going to need the humidity sensor. There are many options available here, uh, but to make things as easy as possible, I looked for one that had a 0 to 5 volt output as the signal. There are many sensors that use a 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp signal and these can be used but they require some extra electronics and wiring so kind of why bother. I can't recommend a particular seller on eBay for these uh, as the guy I bought it from lied to me but if you do a search humidity 0 to 5 volt on eBay it should pop right up and these cost about $15. Don't worry about the voltage out versus resistance out. This is referring to the uh, temperature signal from this. And I know what you're thinking. The ASM module has a temperature port. Can I use the signal from this box to input into the ASM module? And the short answer is no. Uh, I believe, although I've never actually built my own, uh, that the Apex temperature probe uses a 5K NTC thermistor. And the most common type of NTC thermistor is 10K, which is what these little boxes use. There are many more expensive humidity sensor options. Uh, some of them are probably much more accurate than these. Uh, some of them have displays built in, but these work perfectly fine. If you use a different one, as long as it has the same 0 to 5 volt analog signal, the wiring is going to be the same. You're also going to need some uh, Cat5 to BNC uh, connectors and these are available all over eBay for less than a buck and some wire I'm using doorbell wire so to wire it all up all we do is take the positive and negative wires of the power supply which I'm using a little barrel connector in between and we're going to insert them into the positive and negative terminals of the humidity sensor and then you're going to take your spare wire and you're going to t connect the positive to the humidity terminal on the humidity sensor and the negative is going to share the negative terminal with the power supply. So the first thing I'm going to do is twist uh, the power supply and the negative wires together, the two negative wires together, and I'm going to insert that into the negative terminal. I'm going to have to loosen it up a little bit. Alright, make sure that's tight and in there. And 
then the positive signal wire is going into the humidity terminal. And the positive power supply is going into the positive terminal. Okay, so that's the humidity sensor wired up. Now we just need to connect the two signal wires to the BNC. Uh, the black goes to the negative terminal and the positive goes to the positive terminal. So just insert those and tighten down the terminals. Now, just before you plug anything in, double check your wiring. Uh, because I don't know what sending uh, 24 volts to the ASM uh, module will do on the sensor. Uh, it might fry it, it might not, I have no idea. But, you know, just, just double check. So just make sure that the positive from your power supply is going into the positive terminal. And uh, that no, no, there's no loose wires or anything. And the signal wire is going into the right place. Then go ahead and plug the power supply in. And then go ahead and plug the BNC connector into your ASM module. And then plug your ASM module into your Apex. And you should get a green light and everything should be working uh, just to make sure that you have uh, power going at least this brand of sensor has a little red LED in there so you can see that the, the power is getting to it. Uh, so now we need to go and program the ASM. So you've got it plugged in and we're going to need to go to the modules page. So if you're using Apex Fusion, the modules page is in there. And you're going to find your ASM module and click on it. And when you plug in your ASM module for the first time, it's probably over here going to have uh, the probe type B par. And you want to set it to 0 to 5 volts. And then the min range should be around 0. If it's not, set it to 0. And the max range is probably going to be around like 5,000 or something. Uh, but we want to read this in percent relative humidity. So go ahead and set that number to 100. Then you're going to want to upload those changes. And then when you go to the uh, PAR reading, you're going to get your reading in percent relative humidity. And so you can use this to set alarms or uh, an on off on a fan, or really whatever you want to do with that. And you can see that I have my dehumidifier set to 45% uh, humidity. Um, so it runs and kind of keeps my basement at 45 degrees where uh, this humidity sensor has been for a couple weeks. And we had a short spell where it was cold and uh, so it was a little bit drier and the humidity dropped down below 45. If we go to the live reading, we can see that the humidity sensor is currently reading 52% humidity. I actually have uh, the dehumidifier turned off just to make this video because it makes a lot of noise and it's crept up a few percent. But if I breathe on the humidity sensor, all right, so I had to go into Apex Local because the refresh rate on Apex Fusion is just too slow. To show you it working, I already breathed on it once. Uh, so uh, the value is slightly higher, but you saw I was just dropping there. It'll go back down to you know around 50. Over time, it takes a little bit longer for it to go back down, but it's around 60 right now. If I refresh it again, and it's around 60. And if I breathe on the sensor, it goes up. So now it thinks we're at 100% humidity. It'll actually weirdly go over. Yeah, see, it went to 115% humidity. Now, albeit my breath is very humid, uh, but it's not, um, you know, over 100% because I think it kind of maxes out at 100%. And I, I tested the output of the sensor and it is putting out a max of five volts uh, exactly. 
um, when I, or not even quite five volts, when I kind of max out the humidity. Um, but for some reason, the ASM module is reading it as uh, more than that. So it's a little bit inaccurate at the very highs and lows of the humidity scale. But, you know, kind of the important part is the relative uh, accuracy. And it's also pretty accurate right around where we probably want to keep things, which is kind of the 30 to you know, 80 percent humidity. So the last thing I want to say about the Apex humidity sensor is that these sensors are kind of susceptible to corrosion and they need to be kept away uh, from salt spray. You also want to uh, place it in a location with plenty of airflow. You don't need a fan blowing on it, but if you want to take the humidity in a room or within a stand, uh, then placing it in the corner covered with a bunch of junk is not going to work. You want it kind of out in the open. So that's it for the Apex humidity sensor. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching.